Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, teacher. Thank you. Very good. How about you? I'm very good. Thank you so much for asking. So let's good see. Evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Very good. Nice. So, uh, well, I see that we have uh, many people. I'm not sure how many are we going to be for this class. Uh, so I think so we can go ahead and start making honor to the time. And so let me introduce uh, myself first. My name is Christian Saldana, and I'm going to be your teacher uh, for this module. Uh, we're gonna start intermediate uh, one. So I'm gonna be with you uh, just to tell you a little bit about me. Um, I live here in Santa Tecla. I have been working as a teacher for over five years. Um, I also work at, uh, at a call center as well, and I've been working there for seven years as well. Um, what else? I am 29 years old, and I have a little kid. So that's about me. Um, I would like to know you, uh, your name, and similar information to the one that I shared with you, like uh, what's your name? Where do you live? Where do you work? And any interesting fact about you? So I don't know who wants to start. Okay, Yolanda, go ahead. My name is Yolanda Cativo. Uh, I live in Santa Tecla too. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> we are neighbor. Yeah, we're neighbors. <laughs> Uh-huh, and uh, I work, uh, um, no, I work uh, as an accountant. Okay. Uh, uh, I, what? I have a, a child, uh, well, uh, a daughter. A daughter, My okay. daughter is uh, 33 years old. Okay, good. Um, my husband is a teacher. Good. Matt teacher math teacher yes um i have a lot of pets all of them are rescue dogs good all, all, That's nice. all of them are a uh, rescue from the street mm -hmm. and i have nine uh, pets. nine dogs yes uh, nine dogs good um, that's very good yes and uh, i work for for them <laughs> okay <laughs> <That's all teacher. laughs> okay very good nice to meet you yolanda we all are rescue. All all your dogs are rescue. No. Uh, yes, all of them are rescue from the street, and they are only uh, no. They are very different uh, age, and they are very different. Uh, I don't know characters. Uh, it's like breads, like for I different, want... like breads, like uh, races. And not, well, all of them are criollos, no? Okay. <laughs> Aguacateros. <laughs> okay. Wow. I don't know what is the word for this. Nice. That's pretty cool. Who's next? Wow. Uh, I. Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, well I have a, a 59 years old. Uh, I have a three children. Well, there's no children. There's uh, they are adults now. They are adults. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, 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 yeah. Kind of. It's adult. Uh, someone. Well, the older has uh, Andres, twenty-seven. The, okay. the girl, twenty-five, and the younger is uh, twenty, twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three. 23. Okay. Yeah, and uh, both of them are live here in, in with us in, in at home. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, well, my profession is well. I am engineer, industrial engineer, and I work in insurance company. Oh, nice. Oh, no insurance company. I I am a broker, insurance broker. Oh, okay. 
Very good. Uh, what else living? I live in here in San Salvador. I have a, like Yolanda, but I have a, only two, two, well, no, I have three dogs, one here in, in home and in, in, I have others two. Aguacateros, I don't know how do you say <laughs> that in English. No? They are very, they are very, it, it very, uh, it's think, very, very hmm? alert, very smart. Okay. And, uh, Are they rescue as well? Enjoy it. I enjoyed them. Uh -huh. Are they rescue dogs as well? Uh, no, 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 no rescue. Oh, okay. no, well, the mother, yes, one friend, res, 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 rescue. Rescue? Uh, oh, okay. Her, rescue her and, um, and have, uh, I think, seven seven uh, cachorros how do you say cachorro in english uh it could be like baby dogs uh aha -huh. well uh, seven baby dogs and 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 i take and he he give he give me two of them okay very good that's uh -huh. nice okay nice to meet you mauricio thank you well what is your name my name is christian christian okay yes. okay thank you next thank you I volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. My name okay. is Rafael Dabu. I am 42 years old. Okay. I work at Pollo Real. Oh, nice. Right. Thank nice you. Nice food. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I have two children, okay. one daughter and one son. Okay. I live in Nuevo Cuscatlan. Okay. Mm. What else? I like the airplane, the cars. I see that in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so that's good. And do you have like one of those, but in real? Like a real well, one? No, I, I like it, but. All right. That's your dream. <laughs> I, I, yes. All right. My dream. I, <laughs> I have to, to ahorrar. <laughs> save money. Take, yes, save money. Uh -huh. Right. All right. Yeah, and very good. I have two dogs. Two dogs. Two nice. Two. Very good. Very good. So nice to meet you, Rafael. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. Who's next? Me, teacher. Hi. Go ahead. Hey, Leo. It's hey. nice to see you again, everybody. <laughs> uh, my name is Monica Mungia. Okay. I be working in, as an assistant insurance broker. And also we have last, like a family, a little business. Okay, a family business. And, yeah, a couple of business for okay. your family. And also I had my first baby last year. So oh, this good. is my so first year. brand new mom. Yeah, I be a new mom. <laughs> I want, and also I want to have a, a dog, but for the moment it's very complicated, but yeah. I be a lover. Dog a dog lover. lover. Okay. Dog lover. Yeah. That is everything about me. Very, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Very good. Where do you live? <laughs> yeah. Where do you live? I live in Lourdes, Colón. Okay. Yeah, it's very crowded. <laughs> yeah, the traffic, right? <laughs> the traffic is the worst. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much, Monica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. All right. Who's next? Hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, good evening to all. And my name is Alexander. And I live in Cotopeque. Santa Ana with my wife and my daughter. Okay. And I am 42 years old and I work at, at a university in Santa Ana. Oh, really? Uh, yes, uh, I am a teacher uh, of networking. Not a networking teacher? Networking, IT and, and teacher of networking. Oh, that's good. And, and this is my job and is 
uh, maybe my favorite um, uh, how can I say pasatiempo? A hobby. Um, my favorite hobbies. Yeah, okay. I like my work. Very good. That's nice. What where what university do you work for? Unica is a Catholic university of oh. El Salvador. Oh, very good. Actually, I, I'm from Santa Ana, actually. So I, oh. I know of those places there. <laughs> <laughs> They're very yeah. good. Nice. And Thank you. you. Do you go like to the to the lake uh, often? To the uh, Quarabeca Lake? Uh, mm, so, little. so. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, uh, well, twice, twice a year. Okay. <laughs> very good. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you, Alexander. Okay. Uh, likewise, thank you. Thank you. All right, who's next? Yeah, me, teacher. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Jancy Escobar. I'm 29 years old. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, sincerely, it's my first time that I that I take um a course like this one and um, I'm so happy for that. I'm working as an administrative assistant uh, actually in Infrasal. I guess that uh, everyone have heard about that about that company yeah. um, for the pandemic and um, uh, um, um, I have a international marketing degree at the University of El Salvador. Nice. And also I took my English course um, the same in the same place, at the same place, but it was um, five or six years ago. So okay. yeah, I, I know that I have to improve it, right? Okay, very good. Yeah. That's nice. And where do you live? I live in um, Soyapango, Sierra Morena. Okay. It's also a crowded yeah, uh, the traffic place. As well. <laughs> yeah, the traffic is horrible. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Very good. Uh, you said uh, Jancy, right? Yeah, Jancy. Okay. okay. So nice to meet you, Jancy. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Next. Okay, Noemi. Evening. Hi, Hello. good evening. My name is Naomi Eseña Ramirez. I live in Lourdes, Colón. I am 33 years old. I work at Confecciones del Valle. It's a manufacturing company. Okay. And I live alone. Uh, I love to do a different handicraft. Okay, good. This handicraft. is one uh, of my Hobbies. Okay, it's nice. Very good. That's nice. Thank you very much, Nami. Nice to meet you. Good. Okay, who else? We still have people that haven't we haven't heard about. Hello, good evening. Patricia. Hi, good evening. Uh, good evening. My name is Patricia Nunez. Uh, I live in Santa Tecla. Okay. And I am a system engineer and Good. I work for, from home. Uh, I am 44 years old and I have a, a son. Uh, he is eight years old oh. and his name is Gabriel. Um, I have a dog and his name is Chase. Chase. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, um, I like uh, to go for a walk. Very good. Nice. Nice to meet you, Patricia. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay, someone else? I see some names here that I haven't heard. Uh, let's see, um, Elvis. You here? So, good evening. Hi, yeah. good evening. Yes, uh, I am Elvis Abrego. Uh, I have, I am twenty. I am uh, four years. Um, 
I live in San Juan Opico, La Libertad. And I work uh, for Puto de Leon, El Salvador. And I am a, 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 I work in a logistic. Oh, good. A, a, a company. Yeah, in a factory. Oh, very good. What's yes, the name of the factory? Uh, Control Invention. Puto de Leon. Oh, that's El good. Salvador. Nice. Good. Yes. Very good. So yes, nice to meet you, Elvis. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see now. Um, Ada. Hello. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Tell us your name. Uh, my name is Sofia Calderon. Very good. Where do you live? <laughs> I live in Aguachapan. Nice. And where do you work? Yeah. I am a accountant. Accountant. Uh, an accountant? Yes, an accountant. Ah, okay. Very good. Nice. Thank you very much, yeah. Sophia. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. Irving, go ahead. Good evening, everybody. It's nice to see you. My name is Irving Del Cid. I am 26 years old. I'm a student, a networking student. I have worked for uh, Cableado Estructurado y Telecomunicaciones, and I have worked for uh, Citrans. Um, I don't have children. I, I do live in Ciudad Delgado. Uh, there's a lot of traffic here, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, I have a dog and two cats. Okay. Very good. Nice to meet you, Irving. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. I think we're going to do one more, and then we're going to move to the to the presentation so we can um, go ahead. We will be knowing uh, each other with the rest of the, of the team members that we're going to be in the... Um, on the class, so uh, one more person that would like to introduce himself or herself. Any volunteer? Me, Sophia. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think you already you already introduced yourself, so we know you. Let's Maybe. let's do let's see. Crisia is here. Yes. Hi, Crisia. My name is Crisia Muñoz, and I live in Ciudad Arce. Okay. I am 26 years old, and I live with my family. Okay. Um, if we are talking about traffic, I am a wing. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's a lot of traffic there too. Yes. And where and do you work? I work at Confecciones del Valle. Okay. Is a manufacturing. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Any hobby? Nice to meet you. Yes, that's it. All right. Very good. All right. Nice to meet you, Christian. Nice to meet you too, Christian. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna start. I know there we have some people that we haven't met yet. I know you know each other, uh, but I will be knowing the rest uh, among the classes. So we have like many classes where we're gonna talk. Um, well, first of all, let me tell you that uh, it's very good and very nice to hear you, all of you. Super, but super, super good English. Um, I, at the beginning, I didn't like believe that we are in an intermediate level. I thought it was advanced. I mean, you speak a lot, a lot. So that's pretty good, pretty nice. So great job on that. And we're gonna go to the topic. So um, I know the, some of you might know this. Um, so we're gonna be practicing, we're gonna be remembering things. And just before we start, just want to remind you that uh, please, first thing, if there's something that you do not understand, uh, please let me know. Uh, if there's something that you say, uh, teacher, I, I don't know what you said, 
or I don't understand what you are saying, or can you please slow down a little bit? Please let me know, uh, because I, I want that you understand everything that I'm going to say, and I don't want you to, to feel like lost or like you're not getting ev anything that I'm saying. Um, if there is a word that you don't know in English, uh, please also let me know. So we can, if I know it, I will say to you, if I don't know it, I will go ahead and look it for it. And then I'm going to give you the answer. So, because I'm, uh, be, to be honest, for more English you, you speak, there are a lot of, a lot of words that we don't know. Uh, so if I don't know the answer, we can go ahead and look for it. And uh, the other thing is that please start working on the, on the platform. Um, I want to ask, everybody can access to the platform and work in it? Yes or no? ¿Pueden trabajar en la, en la plataforma? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So no problem yeah. accessing. Yes, teacher. I, I don't I, try it yet. You haven't yeah. tried it yet? No. Okay. In this moment, no. Okay. Oh, I guess it's for the past tense. Okay, yes. In the platform. Very good. Yes. Those are the exercises there. So uh, please try to access if you haven't. And, and, and if you have any question, uh, please text me a WhatsApp and I will go ahead and help you. But please start working on those. Uh, the first activities that you're going to see there uh, are the, the topics that we're going to see today. So let's go and, and, and check on the topics. So far, do you have a question? No. Oh. no. Very good. Uh, so far, I've understood all that I've said. Very yes. good. Yes. Very yes. Good. Thank yes. you. Great. Yeah, I just have the. Uh, I just have a question. Yes. Um, when you are talking about the platform, mm -hmm. you are talking about the section number one, right? Yes. Uh, the section number one, one to five, I think there are. So uh, today, the topic that we're gonna see it's for section one. Um, mm -hmm. It will be for the first um, exercise, if I'm exercise. not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, for so, the first exercise. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Thank, yes. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. You, you can do the rest of the of the exercise. That's not a problem. Uh, if you can mm -hmm. move on and work in the other ones, that's fine. Not a problem. But mm -hmm. we have to make sure that we're finished by the end of the month. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Sure. You're welcome. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. So um, you can see my presentation. So can everybody see the presentation? Yeah. Yes. yes. OK. Yes. Very good. Yes. Great. OK, so the first thing that we're going to see, it's uh, the past tense. Um, as it says there, my name is Christian Saldana. We are in the intermediate one, and this is the class number one. So the first thing, the past tense, uh, what do we use the past tense for? What do we use it for? To talk about what? Para que usamos el, el past tense? When we talk about in the past. Exactly. Yeah, when you are talking about an action that you did. Yes, exactly. Past, Something that right. passing that happens in the past. Yes. Yes, exactly. That's very easy, very simple. Uh, that's why we use the past tense to talk about events that happened in the past, uh, things that are complete, something that you already uh, done, Do that it's the, totally past. complete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and we have some, some examples here. I played soccer yesterday. I went to the movies last week. Something very key here is this, the last section here, you see yesterday, you see last week. Those are expressions or time expressions that help us so we can um, make sure that the people that we are talking to know that we are talking about the past, okay? And also, this is very important, uh, the, the, the verbs. 
when we talk about the past, in the past, we need to make sure that the verbs are in past. So it's going to be very, very simple. Uh, we're gonna see the structure in a minute, uh, but I wanted to make sure that you uh, like get in your head that the verbs needs to be in past. And I think like this is like the most complicated thing about uh, the past, it's the verbs, because we have two types of verbs. We have the regular ones, regular verbs, and we have the irregular verbs. Regular verbs are like the most easiest one. Uh, for example, the first like rule that we have, it's that we have to add ed to the end of the, of the verb. And we have two examples here. I'm gonna put it like this. Let me see if I can move this so you can see it better. But the pronunciation is difficult. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the regular verbs. Yes, we're going to be, because there are some times, there are some verbs that you're going to use D and the other ones you're going to use T. But we're going to see that later, like the pronunciation. Right now, we're going to see just uh, how we can create those verbs. So we have this here, um, the regular verbs, we add ED to most of the verbs. For And we have two examples there. We have jump. So for jump, we add ed and that's jumped. Then we have paint and we add ed and it's painted. And that's like pretty simple. So there's nothing to lose there to just add ed. That's the first thing. The next one it's if the verb ends in consonant plus y, you have to change the y for an I and add ED. And we have two examples there, cry, cried, fry, and fried. And the last thing, if a verb of one syllable ends in consonant, vowel consonant, double the final consonant and add ED. Chat, chatted, stop, stopped. So, so far for this, for the regular verbs, do you have any question? Um, it, I think that it's not a question, teacher, mm -hmm. but it is uh, just an opinion. Okay. Um, I have had some teachers before mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they uh, told that, for example, um, when you pronounce the some regular verb for example mm -hmm. because it's it ends with the ed mm -hmm. as you said the pronunciation um should be like it will be like a t at the end not mm -hmm. at ed yes that's correct there are right. like three pronunciation it could be uh -huh. a d it could be a t and it could be a ed Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna see the those pronunciations uh, later because we'll continue seeing the the past tense, and yeah. so we can be practicing the the pronunciation there. So mm -hmm. it works. We're gonna see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So that's with the regular verbs, <clears throat> and like most of the verbs that you will see, you will have to add ed. Then we have the regular verbs. So what happened with the irregular verbs? The irregular verbs, they completely change or they don't change. Because there are some verbs in past and past participle that they do not change. You just put it like, like they are in present, past, and past participle, and there's no change on the verb. So we have here, for example, eat, the past is ate, drink, the past is drank, Take, took, be, was, or where, go, and went. So how are we going to know or how are we going to make in order to know what verb to use? Or if we, have, if we want to say something, how are we going to know that this is the verb that we're going to use? 
So unfortunately, at least for irregular verbs, we can only memorize them. Or now, nowadays that we're like we have like a lot of technology, we can go ahead and download an app. And actually, I will send it to you in the in the WhatsApp group. Um, I sent you a picture there with um, with an application that it's called English Verbs. It's a very, very, very nice application that you just put the verb in present and it will show you the, the verb in present, past, and past participle. So uh, after the class or if, uh, if you're using your cell phone right now, so don't download it. But if not, after the class, you can download the app and that's gonna help you a lot. So you can look any verb you want and you're gonna be able to find it there. So that's like the, like back in the days, we used to like memorize all of the regular verbs and then follow the rules for the regular verbs. But now with the, with the, the with these applications we have now, uh, you can use the, the app and it's gonna be easier for you, like super easy. So uh, this is basically what we are going to be using, past tense and irregular verbs in order to talk about the past. Do you have any questions so far? No, teacher, it's easy, no. Okay, very good, great. All right, so now we're gonna start using some of them and um, let me check here so I can see the list of the people. Okay, so we have a, a, a paragraph here where we have like many verbs. What we are going to do is I need you to help me to put those verbs into, uh, into past. So what I'm gonna be saying, I'm gonna be saying names and the name of the person I need that start reading until the birth and then make the birth uh, in past. If you already have your application, you can look the birth in the application. That's not a problem. And uh, you can tell me what's the birth in past. So uh, let's start here. I have, um, let's see, I have uh, Jolanda here first. So can you please mm -hmm. start? Emily Carr, British Columbia's most famous artist, mm -hmm. was born in uh, 1871. So okay, very good. So the first one was was born in 19, in 1871. Great. Next, uh, Irving. Her parents died when she was still a teenager. Very good. Died. Great, excellent. Rafael. She studied art in San Francisco and Paris, but when she when she came back to Victoria. Very good. Thank you. Good. Um, next, let's see Luis. Uh, she kept a house. One more time. Call it. Keep it. Keep it. I don't know. Okay. Very good. Yes. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. What do you think? Keep it. Is that correct? No. Kept. No. Keep. Kept. Very good. So good job, Luis. We're gonna be checking those verbs, no worries. Very good, so kept. Okay. Nice. Okay, okay. Very good. Now Elvis, continue. Uh, so she the, kept. The house, she kept a uh, house called mm -hmm. the house of all sure. All of sorts. Where she, she was. Very good. Great. Where she was. Um, let's see. Noemi, continue. Uh, 
landlady. Many years later, she began painting again. Very good. She began. Great. Painting again. Good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vanessa. Okay, teacher. Hmm. Two fine subjects for her painting. Mm -hmm. She took trips into the forest Very good. of British Columbia. Great. Very good. Crisia? And she often meet with the First Nation people. Okay, one more time. She often? Meet? Meet? Meet. No. Can you spell it? M-E-T. Very good. Yes, that's correct. Great. Um, Karina? with the First Nation people and painted them too. Very good. Painted them too, good. Uh, Patricia. Emily Carr also write it several. Okay. Write it, is that correct? No, wrote. Okay. Wrote. wrote, very good. Wrote, yes, very good. Nice, Patricia. Uh, Alexander. Um, and she won the Governor General Award for one of them. One, like that? One, one. 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 Can you spell it? W-A-N. Okay, is that correct? No, it's no. one. One. Okay, W-O-N. Yeah, yeah, one. Very good. Great job. So, good job. You mostly know uh, the verbs. Actually, you didn't say hesitate too much. That's pretty good. So, this is basically how it looks. Um, the, the, the past, the, the simple past in the, in this case, in the paragraph. So, do you have any questions with this paragraph right now? Uh, with the verbs that we have seen. Any questions? Yes, I have a question. Yes, tell me, Elena. How do you, how do you pronounce uh, often or often? You can use often, often? or often. Yes, okay. often or often. So both are, are, are correct. Good. Teacher, right. Yes. What's the meaning of landlady? Landlady, it's a person who owns like a, like a series of apartments. Okay. It's say like, uh, like el dueño. Um, okay, thank you. Sure. Any other questions for vocabulary or the verbs? Okay. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna see the, how the structure is uh, for the, for the, uh, for the simple past. It's very simple, actually. It's not uh, so complicated. We use the, for positive statements, we use a uh, subject. Then we use a verb in past. It could be either a regular verb or an irregular verb. And then a complement. The complement can be um, a time expression, a place, uh, or anything you would like to, to add uh, to the phrase that you are saying. So for example, we have, uh, she played soccer yesterday. I cooked my dinner last night and we went to the park last week. So simple, just subject, verb in past and complement. So in order for we can start practicing, uh, this is our time where we're gonna do uh, or owns a, Words, I'm sorry, uh, phrases. So I want you to think of the three activities that you did yesterday. 
Think about three activities that you did um, yesterday. And I will start mentioning names so we can go ahead and uh, and so obviously we're gonna use the, ver the, the tense, the past tense, so you can tell me those three activities um, that you did. For example, I will start. Um, yesterday, I played the guitar, I uh, wrote a letter, and I watched TV. So now let's see, um, Ivania, tell me three things that you did yesterday. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I was, I was the hospital. Okay, I was at the I hospital. Was, yes. Okay, and, at the hospital. At the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then um, at my house. Okay. Um, I was? I was the clean and and cook okay so i cleaned and i cooked, and cooked. Yes. Okay. so say it i cleaned i cleaned and, and cooked i and cooked. cooked i cooked very cooked. good great excellent thank you annie now let's see um Mauricio. Okay. Um, I um, I woke up very early. Okay. Uh, at well, very early, so so at six o'clock in the morning, and oh, that's uh, early. <laughs> uh, and I I went. Uh, I went with 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 my dog to to run. Okay. Um, and uh, and after that, I ate at eight o'clock in the morning. Very good. Great. So, Mauricio, can you help me now choosing one person from the class? Yeah. Sorry. Can you help me choosing one person from the class? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. um, Noemi. Okay, Noemi, go ahead. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yesterday I got up late. Okay, I, I woke up. Woke up. I you got said? up. Ah, I late. got up. Okay. Yes, and I cleaned my house. Okay, good. Uh, after I took a shower around ten a.m. Okay. So. I visited my co-worker in the afternoon. And good. finally, I went to the supermarket with my friend. Very good. Nice. Thank you, Noemi. Choose another one. OK. Luis Alonso. Luis. Three things you did yesterday. Um, I watched uh, movies okay. with my my wife and daughter. Very good. I watched a movie with my um, wife and daughter. Good. Mo movies, teacher. Movies. Oh, movies. So how many do you watch? Uh -huh. <laughs> like many. Uh, yes. I, uh, yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Very good. See movie more or less. Nice. That's good. <laughs> okay. What else? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I uh, play a uh, um, de mesa. Uh, board games. Games. Uh, board games. Games with my with, with uh -huh. with my, my daughter. Okay, so I played board games with my daughter. Uh, with my daughter, my daughter, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good, great. Okay. okay, one more, Luis. Choose another one. One more person. Um, 
Ivania González. Ok. Ivania. Other activities, dice. Oh, you already said, a ver. So, yeah. uh, let's go with another one. Uh, Yolanda. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, I woke, woke up at 5 a.m. Okay. I walked around the city with my uh, pet, Orion. Uh, we walk uh, around uh, 10 kilometers. Okay. I explored a uh, new route to walk, to walk with with him new with route him. new route 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 mm -hmm. with uh, to walk with him okay and i read uh, my book uh, i think uh, by boys uh, adios muchachos yeah by boys goodbye bye boys, boys. <laughs> uh -huh. bye boys <laughs> and uh, this book uh, it was was right teacher was written was written was written uh, by, by Sergio Ramirez okay only very good great okay so any questions so far uh, about the the positive statement yes. i have a question tell me I forgot when you uh, lo voy a decir en español <laughs> ok cuando estoy haciendo las oraciones en pasado puedo combinar dos verbos porque yo le pongo I went to visit my mother o oh, no sé yeah. yes I went to sí. visit Los my mother And yesterday. Okay, yes. I went to visit. That's correct. I went to visit my mother. Yes, that's correct. Pero los dos tienen que ir en pasado, ¿verdad? When y visit. The thing here is that, I mean, it's grammatically correct. Está bien gramáticamente, pero it sounds like Spanish. Es como decir, yo fui a ver o yo fui a visitar. <laughs> So you can say, <laughs> I went to my mother's house or I visited my mother. So yo fui a la casa ah. de mamá o yo visité a mamá. Gracias. All right. Okay. That's fine. No worries. Any other question? Yeah. Tell me. Yeah, for me, well, in my case, mm -hmm. when you talk about the past, it's very, like, difficult to me because I, that is my mistake when I okay. be speaking. I, well, I change the words, but I confuse the person the, <laughs> in the same sentence. So okay. I, maybe for me, I need to help with that. Okay, sure. Like, Identific when when we talking about uh -huh, identific when we talking about the past because I understand when someone are speaking is in the past but when I try to speak it's like I make the mistake and also a lot of people told told me that you have like did you say that you have a good English but you are thinking in Spanish yeah. and I don't know how to think in English. <laughs> So that's something that you will change uh, just with practicing. Uh, for example, um, when I started uh, to, to learn English, that, that was like, I don't know, like maybe more than 10 years ago. Um, I used to do the same thing. I mean, I used to talk um, like translating from Spanish to, to English. Uh, but the only thing that changed my mind, it was just speaking listening and reading if you can listen for example podcast if you can read a book in english uh, or maybe the news in english that's that helped you a lot so you can start changing your your chip in your head and put it the one from english when you're speaking english and the one for spanish when you're speaking spanish so that's just about a practice so no worries we're gonna get there <laughs> <laughs> thank you sure okay Next, uh, negative statements. Uh, we're going to run a little bit here because we're almost running out of time. 
So a negative statement, basically it's the same thing. Uh, you use subject. The only thing that changed here is that you use didn't. And this is something that you have to pay a lot of, a lot of attention. Didn't, and then you use the verb in present. So in this one, you have to use, if you're gonna say a negative statement, you're gonna use didn't and then the verb in present, not in past. The past, you only use it for positive statements. And the present, you use it for negative statements. So are we clear on that? Yes or no? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes okay. Very good. So make sure that, because that's something that is gonna be in your, in, your, in your exercises. And you will see, for example, she didn't play the, with ED. That's incorrect. It should be, she didn't play soccer yesterday. I didn't cook my dinner last night. We didn't uh, go on the, on the park last week and so on and so on. So that's basically how we do it. Um, we, we just add didn't. We can use didn't or did not. So you can say did not as well, and it's the same. So she didn't or she did not play soccer yesterday. Okay. So we're gonna pass here this exercise uh, and we're gonna go with the yes, no question. Before we start yes, no question, do you have questions right now on regards positive statements or negative statements? Nope. No questions? Cool. No teacher. Great. Okay. So now, uh, just no questions. It's uh, in Spanish, we can say pregunta cerrada. So we can only answer yes or no. So that's what it called yes, no question. So for example, uh, you have to use first did, then the subject, and then again, the verb in present. This is very important. Remember, when there is did here, you have to use the verb in present, okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever you see did, the verb needs to be in present. You don't have to change it. Then the complement, and the last and important as well is the question mark. If there is no question, question mark here, it's not a question. It's just a statement. So remember to place the, the question mark at the end. And we have some examples. Did you go to the concert? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Easy. So that's the short answer. Did you go to the concert? No, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did, all right? And also you can add more information to the, to the answer and you can say, hey, did you watch the news yesterday? Yes, I watched. I, then here we are, we're using the uh, 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 positive statement. So yes, I watched the news yesterday. No, I didn't watch the news yesterday. So you can say either long or short, both are correct. Okay. And those are just yes, not question. And one more time, did needs to go with verb in present. Questions on that? Oh. Can you repeat? Sure. Yes. Uh, could you repeat the, for example, well, uh, if in, did you watch the news? Did you watch the news yesterday? Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Correct. Uh, if I said yes, I watch. Yes, I watch. Uh, yes, yo vi. So the, the the watches, it will be in the past, no? Yes. In this case, yes. If you're giving like a long answer, yes, you have to use uh, the. Oh uh, yes, yes, it's below that. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I watched the the news yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I'll this is a uh, it's a positive statement. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Good. Any other question? Yeah, in the negative, teacher, yeah, verbo si conserva la base de 
su base. Exactly. Because we have did. Did, eh, in these cases, or gra grammatically, o gramáticamente, se le llama un verbo auxiliar. Entonces lo que hace es como, como ese verbo, did, hace al otro verbo, pasado. Exacto. So that's why when we use did, the verb needs to be in present. Good. Good questions. Good questions. And the last one. Uh, we have, again, questions, but these are called WH questions. The WH questions are questions that we make to like to gather more information or like, like simple, an open question. Una pregunta abierta. So we provide more information than yes or no. Aquí decimos más de sí o no. Here we provide as long as, as much as we can all the information about the question. And we have here, you can use what, where, who, which, when, why, and how. So though all of them are WH questions that you can use in your questions. And the instruction goes a WH question and then the same structure like a yes, no question. Utilizamos una WH question y luego la misma estructura de una just no question. We use did, subject, verb in present, and complement. Uh, from the just no question, do you know the meaning of all of them? ¿Saben el significado de todas las WH question here? Yes? Yes. Yes. Good. Great. Yes. Excellent. All right. So... And we have here some examples. What did you do in the summer? I went to my grandparents' house. Where did you buy your blouse? I bought it in the mall. So here we provide more information. If we ask, where did you buy your, your blouse? We cannot say, yes, I did. Porque si no fuera, hey, ¿dónde compraste la blusa? Sí. O, ¿qué hiciste en el summer? No. So, it doesn't make sense. So, if we have a WH question, we have to provide more information. Okay? Questions? No. Nope. No, teacher. No questions? No. Very good. No, okay. But it's so difficult for me that this... <laughs> I hate. <laughs> <laughs> I know so it's complicated sometimes, but it's just about practice. Just about practice. There are more complicated topics later. For example, the present perfect. The present perfect. It's a very complicated topic. Uh, the the simple past. It's complicated for the verbs. <laughs> but remember, if you can download the app, uh, that's going to help you a lot. Okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and, okay, let's stop here, this. Sir? Yes? Um, I just have a question. It's not about the presentation. It's okay. about um, something that could help us to everyone, Okay. Uh, of course. Mm -hmm. um, would you uh, suggest us any book to read uh, sure. to improve, right? And to improve, of course, our, our English, right? Sure. Could you? Sure, definitely. Uh, I would go ahead and look uh, the one book that you can like, like it could be for, for your understanding and it will be easier for you to read. And that will help you to get like as much vocabulary and information for you. So definitely I can do that. I'm gonna oh, look for okay. it and then I'm gonna, if I can find it online, I will send you the link. Yeah, perfect. Okay, very good. Thank you. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're about to leave just one minute. Um, so I just wanted to know, there is any questions so far on regards of the, 
Uh, today we, we saw the simple past with uh, positive statements, negative statements, um, just no questions, WH questions. Do you have any questions about those topics? No. No? I don't. Okay. No, teacher. Very good. Time really flies. Yes, time <laughs> flies. And tomorrow we're going to um, to practice this, this uh, structures. Uh, so we can like start getting accustomed to use those things. And well, it was a really nice pleasure to see you, all of you. Uh, it was nice to meet you. And whatever question you have, you can send it to the, to the uh, group, WhatsApp group. And if anybody have any questions, uh, this is the class for today. Have a good night. And we're going to see you tomorrow. Hey, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thanks to you. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Have a good night. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Take care, everybody. Thank you.